Hey guys, today we're in the bush at a place called Stones Road in Sunnybank Hills. I've just happened upon this parcel of land, literally. I've lived here for a long time and probably drove past this ages, for ages. Well, yes I have, driven past it many times. The reason I'm talking quietly is because there was something crashing in the bush over there. <clears throat> not far from where we came. Now I'm going to take you for a walk back through where Josie and I just came because I had to clear the path. Nobody's been through here for quite a while. And when I walked in, this is my stick I used. Now when I walked in, there was an overwhelming smell of urine. I thought, right, someone's going to be camping in here. I've walked through, there is no obvious human tracks in here. I can tell just how Jazzy and I had to get through this place. Now, I have what sounds like, uh, I don't know if that's an industrial estate over in that direction. There is some clanging and banging going on. I know there's houses there, and I know my car's parked up that way. Now, you just want to come for a walk with me, and we'll have a look. Come on, Jazz. Took a long time to get in here because we had to clear a path. There's vines strangular vines and I just kill them so I took my time to do that with um, a lot of this on the way through here as you can see these things are a vine I, I call them a strangler vine because they'll kill any tree they go up eventually and they're all through here so we hacked them off because he was going over to this nice tree and not anymore not for a while, I just broke him off. So I was hoping to find something in here, and I was hoping not to find homeless people, which is what I didn't find. This one, I didn't get this one down. And I didn't find homeless people, because it's a bit too rugged for them. I can tell you what though, if I needed somewhere to stay close, that you could still, if your car wasn't moving and you could get to the shop and all that, Nobody would know you were here if you were quiet and you didn't light a fire, you had a little gas stove because still people are cooking around this area so they wouldn't even, it wouldn't be unusual to have an, another smell of food going around. What I am wondering is what the smell, the really, really strong urine smell was coming in and I'm not kidding you, I will bring Jenny here, awaken in the light and she'll vouch for me. So, you could tell who the only ones to walk through here for a while. That's right, I went through this little tunnel, Jazzy. This way. But I'd like to know what the urine smell was. I was hoping to find some sort of structure because usually they don't block anything off for no reason. But I'm still thinking they didn't. They've kept this. There's some magnificent trees here, so maybe for once they actually did the right thing and kept this little area for conservation. However, you can tell it's an old world property. I'll show you what up here. We have so many trees not native. This has been like a garden. I'm about to enter into it now. It's really warm, guys. It's very humid, just give me a minute. I've got the wrong shirt on at the moment. I've got to take it off, but I'll keep filming. So, we got some really spectacular plants in this area. Brazilian cherries, always grown in orchards. I believe this is part of an old world, world property, and that's why they've sectioned it off and kept the last little bit and I'll tell you why because just around the corner from me because I can't edit videos at the moment you know just doing it on my phone if I can someone please tell me how um, I didn't film up there because I would have had to make two videos but just above me in some streets leading to here this is on a big hill so I thought aha uh -huh. <clears throat> we know what we're looking for 
let's explore the hill. I found this park, however, on the way here there is a stone wall that is definitely old world. Not, not ancient, we're talking millennial rain time being the frame there, I would say, when people could live beautifully and that. And when the founders come in and took everything, they destroyed a lot of this, everything that they could actually. They didn't want evidence. And you had to be in the knowing club to know what was going on, right? That's why all the sail asylums, anybody who spoke out was going to be dealt with harshly. And, um, and so what do we have? This whole area over there, this whole hill, was some amazing, beautiful property. Because this is not typical Australian scrub. Usually it's a lot more hard going. There's hardly any lantana in here, which to me is amazing. I, I could tunnel through that because that's not lantana. I do tunnel through lantana, but I'd rather be dressed for that. <clears throat> that is a proper, that's a proper day doing that. You've got to be prepared. Um, I see we have frangipanis here and these are not native at all. And that proves this is, somebody's lived, this has been their garden area. The trees are magnificent. They haven't taken them down and everything else in the area is gone. I'm going to walk you out of here so you can see how absurd this is. They didn't leave this here for anything, for nothing. They left it. Here's the smell again. Oh, that's strong. It's not kangaroo. I know kangaroo smell. And it, I mean, you ruse pigs, pigs stink, but we don't have pigs here. No, 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 not where I am right here. We've got them everywhere, but not. Not in this town. That's why when I got to the boundary line, it's peed up there to mark its territory, whatever it is, because I went, oh, I might find homeless people in here. Because things are getting pretty bad, even in our country. And yes, England does own Australia, whoever asked that question. Yes, they do. So you can see ferns in that here that are just... Like these little ones are amazing. Big logs, it's a lot of big logs down. You can't really see them because they're in the dark. But this is how absurd this is, okay. Um, no, I have to look for that stick, our uh, jazz, because that is the way we come in. No, we've missed the gate somehow. Back here. I think we had to go further. Or did we come in on this one? It wasn't that big. I should have been paying more attention. Ah, oh, well, we'll trudge out through here. It's going to be the same anyway. I'd already cleared a pass coming in because it's not too crash hot coming in and it's not dressed for it. Yeah, this is definitely not where we're coming. I'm going to go back down and carry on a bit further. It's all the fun of it, isn't it? Usually I'm very observant like that, but oh, at that stage I was battling... <laughs> cobwebs and um, vines and all this other stuff. Should be able to tell where I haven't walked anyway pretty quickly. It must have been there. It must have been up over that hill. Just looked a bit thicker than... I did trudge through it. It kind of was pretty hectic. Maybe I'm just not remembering how really yucky it was. That's what you do, isn't it? If you want to find things, you got to get uncomfortable. Um, boy, sometimes do you get uncomfortable. Wet, cold, lost. No, <laughs> I have not been lost for the longest, longest time. That's one thing I haven't been. Ah, we got Lantanasville on this side. We didn't come far enough. 
Let's have a look at it. No, I can get through this. Oh, you right, Jazz? Have I lost you in the in the grass, Jazz? I know this is not where I come in because I can't smell the pea right on the boundary, so I'm going to find it when we go up here anyway. Jazz? So Squatchy didn't get you, did he? Oh, good. Oh, well, someone's walked along here. This wasn't us. This wasn't us because we cut a path straight in. So. Oh, this is much easier. <laughs> Yes, that was up a little further. We went in down there where it was really thick. Perfect. It's pretty high. Yeah, here's where we went in. And we trudged through there. Which is worse. I couldn't see behind these bushes. I should have just walked up another 10 feet, but this is so good. It's how we learn. Yeah, see the trees here guys I mean you don't get these in nature in Australia it's like a maple tree these were only ever planted on properties beautiful big pine trees so they section these blocks of land these lots of land off for very very good reason not just because we'll pick that part for a park okay and have a look at your golf courses because Norman Park down the road from me, oh, it's a bit of a way, but it has um, ancient walls in it. And the day I was there, I just couldn't film it because I was driving and it, yeah, well, I can't film when I'm driving. I don't want to lose my license. So check that out. Look at that magnificent tree. That's huge, guys. Darul, this is a this was a big property. And the stone wall. I wonder if there's any down this street. We come a bit further. But this stone walls <laughs> in about five or six different <laughs> properties, not properties, just houses. It's their front wall. And it was a retaining wall in the day that they would have built in the old time. Jazz, let's come and see if we can see it, if there's any in this street. It's up. It's up to the right there. It's a bit far for me to walk at the minute. I think it's worth... Maybe people understand. I might take you in the car. I'll put the, I'll put the, the camera down and we'll drive around there. And when I stop, I will show you exactly what I mean by old world properties. And I'm not talking pre-flood I'm not talking Tartaria rain I'm talking millennial kingdom rain and when the founders came and they took it all away do you like my spare car? yeah it's my spare car it's not my big powerful one it's my little run around town petrol's so dear diesel's so dear everything's so dear that I just wanted the littlest one to run around town in and this thing is great. This thing is so economical. So we're just going to just stick with me, guys. I'm um, getting in the car. We're going to go up and have a look around the corner here. This is imperative. Now, give me a minute. And you will understand why I understand that that was an old property. It all makes sense. And why did they just, you know, totally destroy these old properties? And there's nothing left but walls, a lot of it. That's what you've got to look for in your area, are walls. They are an absolute giveaway. No, it was Stones Road, wasn't it? Yeah, one more street. I'm glad I didn't start tracking off with you guys because I wouldn't have made it. Stones Road when that happened. All right, so I'll just hopefully I can find it. I did I did come up here and go around a couple of 
streets I'd never been before. Um, and obviously I wasn't paying too much attention. I'm going to have to go back. I'm looking at a park that I started at that um, as soon as I walked into it, I went, no, nah, they've only used this as a high point. And sure enough, there's a massive tower. <clears throat> I'm actually looking at that now. Oh, here we are. We are here. Okay, I'm going to get out of the car. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to show you guys that our council, I don't care what year you're talking, our council or convicts or whatever you want to say cannot do this. Stick with me. Up she goes. Come on, you can come out, sweetheart. Now here is just a normal house, and here is, does over here, and here is, you know, a fence that people like us build. But we'll start at the top, shall we? Because this is the top of the mountain here, the hill. And where I was just around the corner, that beautiful place, is just down the flat a bit. Hello? Can anybody say that doesn't belong there? You might go, well, you know, property owner ages ago put that there, Beck. Okay, well, come with me. We've had enough of the naysayers. We've had enough. We need people to start opening their eyes. The extent of the lies is hideous. If you knew what was here before, hmm <laughs> hmm. Oh. And look what's undermined. And here the wall starts again. And I'm going to come back and go through that further under the ground. Now look. Now I can tell you, I've lived in Australia my whole life. I've lived in two states. Two different states in particular. What are you going to tell me convicts built this then, did they? Mm. Well then, if they did, what was here? Because you won't get any narrative. It'll just be, oh, they just built houses here. They found it like this. They found it like this. Now you tell me, because this wall, this is the very top of this hill. And it's a beauty. It overlooks Brisbane down there. I'll try and show you that from across the road. Back to the wall. This wall is under, under the earth, you see. It looks like it's tapering up. And it looks like it's been done like that on purpose. But it's not. They filled it that way. Or did the mud flood fill it that way? <laughs> when he was released, did the mud come up? And even the millennial rain structures that people like you and I would have built because this would be something that a family probably would have done very happily, peacefully, um, loving life, working on the land. Maybe that's why there was so many of these stone walls and they learned how to do it really well in that time. I'm not sure what the narrative is there. I can only assume. And melting. This has been constructed like this. Oh my days, look at this. Oh. Isn't that beautiful, guys? That was worth coming up here. Deborah, what do you think? Look at this. I want your opinion on this one, mate. Deb, if you don't mind, please get back to me. That'd be awesome. So we can see we've got a really unique, oh, really unique here. I really, since I found my shoes, <laughs> I find something every day. 
It's the shoes. They're Holy Spirit shoes. <laughs> so this is a lot more worn. That was a lot more cleaner. It's the only reason that this is not punching through those same colours, okay? You've got to understand that. I don't know why that's cleaner. Maybe somebody's gone to the trouble of literally cleaning that, that part, because that is a different house there. You see what I mean? They're different houses. And then, let's have a look at this bit down here. And that's, that's the remnants of it up here on this hill. Come on, Jazz. But see, this shows you how spasmatic it is, and it's probably under the road here for all we know. Because you'll be able to tell why as soon as we get to the corner here. So under this garden is all part of that wall. It's just overgrown, and you'll see how, why I know. Ta-da! The wall continues, and then what did they smash the rest down? Down, because I'm walking down a steep hill. This is good, good exercise doing this stuff. And as you can see, that's been cleaned off, and they've put fill. That's all that's happened. They've actually used what was there but they've done a bit to it. And that still is that original wall. We come back up here and as we can see, yes it is. Most definitely. So I, I'll leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this, but I'm just trying to educate people what to look for, to know that you can probably do this yourself, especially if you're in an area that has a bit of a history um, country towns, don't think you've got nothing out there. You've got everything out there. Your country towns are absolutely loaded. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you are, guys. And as you can see, this is on the top of a hill. As I said, it overlooks Mount Gravatt down there. You can actually see buildings, but they're behind that big tree. So, okay, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's just a bit of old world exploration in Sunnybank Hills, Queensland. This is Beck and Jazzy's trekking. It's all right, it's very quiet here. That's why she's in the middle of the road. It's basically the country in the city. I am out.